Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. No, no, I'm not leaving here. Not just yet. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Rips, I missed that spot there. It's a big green groupie. Oh yeah. So, okay, now I'm gonna leave here with a big fat wallet on my hands. I'll be able to buy some stuff along the way. Well, maybe. Yes, I do! Mm-hmm. Yes, I got it. I Yes, I did. Don't worry, we got this. Yes. But first, we're not actually going to go to the fog. We're going to go somewhere else here. We're going to go to that newish island here that we have marked on the map that's uncharted. So let's flip our camera around there and get ourselves over to that island. And hopefully we're going to see some new enemies, new sea enemies along the way. Because as I said, I wanted to do this... Uh, a little bit later because I had the ghost ship on the mine when I had, was popping up with those new enemies I mean when the new enemies are popping up, excuse me So yeah, we can dock over there and let's dock over there <laughs> But hopefully we'll be able to see a said new enemies here. Oh, there's a sea trap But that's not new enemy not in the slightest. Why did you disappear? What, what the heck that was? That was incredibly weird. They're supposed to go well, maybe because they appeared in the old route, and I made a new route, so that's why they disappeared. Anyway, uh, there's not really much that we can do here, uh, but I would like to show you some stuff over here so that you can mark it down for a little bit later. This is Spirit Island, as you've seen there. And first, over here, there is a Courage Gem! Oh, yeah! So we got another variety of gem here, and we can't get over there. No. Uh-uh. So, but we can see the shrine at Spirit Island. The servant spirits came here long ago in search of the power to defeat evil. The spe three spirits use spirit gems to gain the power they required. So yeah, this is the place to use your spirit gems at, but only in increments of 10. <laughs> so these torches appear, I should say they light themselves as you get there. There's a couple of reminder signs here. 10 spirit gems will give, a power to, give great power to a spirit. 20 spirit gems are required for a spirit to fully realize its power. And going over here, we'll see another thingajigger here. Uh, if you go to your collection screen, it'll say to equip them when you power them up. Um, open the collection screen, tap the spirit icon to equip the powered up spirit. Also, if you tap the same spirit, you'll deselect it. You can't utilize the spirit's power unless you equip it. Remember that. So yeah, selection screen, and you tap, yeah, spirit. But, you know, we kind of can't do that because no spirit is powered up, but we can show you <laughs> the stuff over here. Well, I can show you. There's no we here. I'm the soul maker of the videos. <laughs> the spirits that travel with you have not recovered their huge strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered around the world. You must bring them here. Collect these and the spirits will recover their true power. Then they will be of even greater assistance to you in your quest. Uh, I'll, I'll just do the power here because why not? So far, you have located two power gems. You must find eight more spirit gems before your spirit of power's ability will increase again. So yeah, nothing we can do here. Just something to make note for in the future. And I wanted to get the courage gem over there. <laughs> and also, you'll notice that there's another wing to this island here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it would be worth the trip, but we can't really go and do anything here right now. We don't have the collectibles. We don't have the items to make the trek to this part of the island. Don't have the collectibles that gets powered up there. So, to the Northwestern Sea! Oh, that was a terrible line. Let's go a little straighter here. There we go. And we're off! Now, as I was saying when I was going back to the island, hopefully I'll come across some of the new enemies here that I didn't really explain along the way because I was focused on the ghost ship. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see just what critters we can tackle and what are the best strategies for them, maybe, if they appear randomly. <laughs> uh, you can also destroy these little gust of wind tornado here, uh, and you can actually get prizes for defeating them. Yeah, by actually blasting them with your cannon, you can do so. Hello, Sea Octorok! Yeah, they shoot stuff at you and you can block their shots with your cannon, and that's pretty much it uh, for them. They circle around your ship, and we can do nothing about that frog, so we're just going to have to leave it be for now. But it's already marked on the map, though. Well, for the most part there, it's kind of kind of low for... Actually, hold on. Maybe what I should do here, uh, as long as I notice that it's a little bit off, I will erase the circle down here, and put the circle up here. How do you like those apples? <laughs> Without erasing the frog whatsoever. I think that's a better location, because I, I didn't really see the frog there around that 
parts before, so yeah. There's only two frogs in this area, so there's, yeah, there's one there, one there, and I don't know how I managed to get it that low, but whatever. Alright, so, now, Northwestern Sea, since we got the route marked on our map, and we're having some slowdown, but that's okay, we could go through here and mark our route, oops, mark our route as tightly as possible around the stones, because it'll be much safer than letting ourselves go around the stones for as long as possible, because, yeah, <laughs> so let's just go and flop our way around town as quick as possible because there's gonna be critters along the way and uh, it's hard to shoot them when you can't see them so you don't want to stay here for as long as you need to because this is a pretty dangerous place for ships alright there's sea octorok hanging around here and just tap them shoot them move on also you should probably swing the camera around as you go to where you're going to be going so that you can see things as they pop up uh, also, try and shoot the barrels if you can see them, because they're explosive and they'll alert your ship just as much as the enemies will. And, yeah, turn, 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 turn! Use the boost to get through or something like that. I don't know why I use that reference. There's no boost. I'm not a fan of Star Fox. <laughs> Let's just move on away from that. It was just something that came to mind. Flying fish, shoot them before they dash at you and cause you damage. Uh, they'll just kind of flutter around your ship until you, yeah, you shoot at them. Yeah, it's not, not really a big deal or anything like that. There's uh, one more critter that you'll find along the way, potentially, is the eye plant, which takes two hits to destroy, and it always appears in the path that you've drawn. Um, and it also shoots at you Octorok style, so you have the chance of running into it as well as being shot by it. So they're the most dangerous sea enemy that you will come across at this point in the game. If I will come across it. And the beetle ship there I would like to uh, dock at when I am able to do so. Uh, because there's something there that I should be able to get. And Oh, there's an eye plant. Awesome, and I also got a heart for my ship if I should have lost the energy, but I did not. Alright, so I'm gonna actually change my route here so I don't... Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll change my route when Beetle gets a little closer to my line, so it's in my path. And this ship here is pretty funny, and you can also get a heart container from it, so you might want to do the events that are over there, but I'm not going to do that because that's going to take me quite a while to do, and I can get by without that heart container there. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna change my route to Beetle Ship here because I'm out of the fog. Well, I'm gonna be out of the fog. So yeah, there we go. I sh that was all the new sea enemies that you will come across. Woohoo! Hey, we made it through the fog. Oh yeah. And we'll also be able to get another sort of gem here, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he'll be selling a wisdom gem at this moment in time. He is. Look at that. Oh yes. So, yeah, and every 10 rupees, I, wait, no, yeah, every 10 rupees, I think you got, you get a little point, uh, I mean, excuse me, 100 rupees, you get a point, so let's buy that, and we'll get another thing to fill up our right side, yes, yes, now all the stuff that I made is up on the right side, and I won't have to fade anything in in video editing, yes, <laughs> So I'm also gonna buy this, I guess. It's uh yeah, sure, why not? It's just trying to build up the points in my car because the more points I get, the uh better of a discount I'll be able to get on in in the future. So yeah. And yeah, I got seven points now. Heck yeah! Woohoo! And I can also take a tour of the ship! Woohoo! That was the quickest tour in the world. <laughs> Alright, now let's draw our route to here. And bump our way through. <laughs> Perfect. And that ship over there also has a pretty funny little reference. But that's something for later. You know, that ship will always be around these parts of the sea that I'm waggling around to. So welcome to the Isle of Gust, the place that has been touted and hyped up since we were on the other island, and there's some mini blins hanging around there. It takes two small hits to destroy them, or just one big jump slash to destroy them, but we'll get into that as I go. This is sure one gust the island. Yep, surely this has got to be the Isle of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how about you go fly off and search for our next spirit? Okay. 
<laughs> Isle of Goss, beware of great winds. Alrighty. So, Scare's Great Winds. We're gonna see them right here. They, yeah, they literally blow you around, and they will actually blow you off the cliff if you let them. So, don't let them blow you off the cliff. And they're gonna always blow to the right, I've noticed, but that is good for predictability's sake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, by the way, uh, this right here, do not jump back down over because it's just gonna take you back to where you started, and that's gonna be kinda stinky. So don't do that unless you want to go back to the ship for whatever reason. Dang it, it blew me off the stairs. Now do not make that jump when the wind is blowing because you will not make that jump while the wind is blowing. I should say, do not try and attempt that jump while the wind is blowing. So yeah, I see little jump attacks will- OH SHOOT! <laughs> Dang you wind! So yeah, little jump attacks will kill them in one hit. Regular sword slashes will kill them in two. And they will try and spear you, but they're not very good at spearing you, so... <laughs> Chances are- OH! I rolled! Of all the times to roll. Why? Why then? Why now? <laughs> I can't roll when I want to, but I can roll when I don't want to. And uh, over here, the wind's gonna start to pick up, because there is going to be a special jump you're gonna have to do here. Well, a special double jump, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to go- OH! <laughs> I want to go over here and blow up this wall. Uh, once those bombs grow back, okay, let's grab it and chuck before it blows it away. Because it, it's really awkward to throw bombs when the wind is blowing. Watch us. Uh, watch it when it blows. Yeah, it, it does weird things. <laughs> so in here, we got ourselves a little something, something here, and and and. We got a current jam! Yes, 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 and yes. Hello. A wafer's journal. You never know where the wafering winds will take you next. So you made it. After months upon this windy isle, I discovered some other isles nearby. But my big discovery, the one that sets my heart aflutter, the mermaid. <laughs> That's where my wafering destiny takes me next. So, we got something to mark on our map here for the future. And, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, I I uh, had a failed recording and this was already marked because it, it still saves on your map for some reason. I forgot about that! Yeah, okay! <laughs> that's perfect! <laughs> so yeah, that's how I got those marks on the map and somehow I didn't notice that whatsoever because I'm... I, I guess maybe because I'm used to seeing them on my map in other playthroughs and I'm used to just seeing them there because I leave them there. Anyway, while this wind is gusting, make these jumps. Uh, if you don't make that second jump there, just stay in the middle portion and then just, uh, yeah, redo, I mean, just wait for the wind to gust again and you will be, oops, you will be golden. And I actually should be holding on to my controller here uh, in order for me to switch to my shovel more efficiently for stuff like this. Yeah, I had my controller off to the side there. But yeah, basically that, that fail recording that I was talking about, I forgot to mention when I started this, is a, uh, uh, I apparently didn't start the FF split recording for some reason. It, it, it showed as, yeah, it, it didn't record anything and didn't start or anything like that. I thought I started it, I could have swore I started it, and now I'm being paranoid that uh, it, it, it's, it stopped, but it's not actually stopped, but it's okay. Um, anyway, this is the spot that I said don't jump back down, because you'll go back to the ship area, so let's, let's not do that, and let's just flop on through this cave. Alrighty. And we are going to go up and around here. Well, now you, if you want to, you can avoid those mini blinds down below. But I, I really wouldn't recommend you do that. I recommend that you try and force your way through these winds here. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, there is a uh, there's another sort of treasure chest here that we can get, and actually two things that we can get down here if you kill off all the critters. Um, so yeah, let's kill off all the critters and get the second treasure chest to appear. Because yeah, there's quite a lot of critters here to kill off, and I would like that other red rupee before it disappears, thank you. <laughs> and there we go, this is gonna make- oh wow, I'm getting a lot of treasures here. Yeah, you can get two things here and both will appear on the si right sidebar there. First is a treasure map for killing all the critters. Again, we can't do anything about those X's. And the other thing is, I believe, another Courage Gem. Oh no, it's a Wisdom Gem, okay. So, it's another blue to add to the sidebar. And now we're gonna reappear out on this side of the cave, yes! 
and, 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 we're going to be blowing up some windy staircases, but we're not going to make the jump to the left just yet. We're going to go over here, and whoa, 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 we're going to go and dig this up, because there is a big green rupee. We know the value of those things by now. Careful, 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 and get ready to run and jump. Yeah, mini blins, you are... Always in my way. You're just infesting the island, aren't you? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I jumped down here too quick before showing you what this is. Yeah, this right here is the cave that we came out through. So don't jump through there. Or jump, don't jump down back through there, excuse me. Um, up over here, I guess I could show you. Just for kicks. This is the temple that we're going to be going to next. Uh, we're going to mark this spot on the map. Thusly, that was a bad X. <laughs> that is okay. The temple entrance stops gusting only when the windmills have had their fill. So yeah, we can't get to the temple without doing something with the windmills, and the windmills have something to do with that X, well, poorly drawn X that's on my map right now. It's more like a arrow with overextended tips <laughs> of two lines. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that door is something we're going to be opening a little bit later on. Um, right here. What do you think those are, Link? All those spots on the ground look like they're shoveled in with dirt. Could be from the Wayfarer. So yeah, look at that, look at that. You can do that. And you can also do this as well. <laughs> you can cover them up and uncover them. So any spot you see on the ground like that is a uh, little something something of wind here. Whee! <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm just messing around here too much. So uh, over here on the left side, so, you know, so there's a little, little treasure there. I'm going to spin attack for that one. <laughs> it goes through walls. So I'm going to do that and go up here. And I'm going to get this treasure, which is going to appear on the right side because it's a power gem. Yeah. Awesome, tastic. We we are building up those set sidebar a lot faster than before because we have a lot more freedom to explore. <laughs> so over here, now we've got another little puzzle of sort. Oh no! You are stealthy. I was gonna say, oh no, there's a dead end here, but oh no, there's a critter there too. <laughs> and uh, uh, didn't I touched the wall, not the. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And now we're gonna hop around here and go through. Oh no, it's a dead end. And we're gonna try and get through there. Oh no, it's a dead end! Oh no, it's a dead end! So oh, we gotta solve this puzzle. That was a difficult puzzle. <laughs> and that's all there is to see around there, I believe. So we can jump around, or just say jump down there. Another big green ruby. We know what that is. Yes, yes, yes. Oh wait, wait, I, I, I actually need that or one of them to get up here. Um, yeah, mark on the map here. Oh, I should have read that read this first here. Uh, hmm? um, the hero must blow on the sea three sacred windows to open the path forward. And I believe there's hearts in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is. Anyway, yes, yeah, three sacred windmills, so yeah, get ready to mark on your map. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes! Perfect. <laughs> and now... I'm gonna fill these sneakers in. Because, oh no, 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 no! Because that'll happen. <laughs> I'm gonna fill those stinkers in and not have that happen again. <laughs> and now, watch out for the sandworms! <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead, so walk without sound and bring as little attention to yourself as possible. If all else fails, free to flee to a high spot before the creatures find you. Okay, so, you go slowly. Very slowly, they won't hear you. But that's not very good for walkthroughs, so I'm gonna run, 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 they're faster than you, by the way. Boing! The sand creatures devour whatever they find, so feed them bombs and you'll have a chance at survival. Yes, I will most certainly feed them bombs. By dropping it in the sand, they'll hear the sound, and they'll pop out, and then they'll explode themselves delightfully. Ooh, I want that. Yes, 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 yes. And I will wait for that to go back underground. I should say, stop moving underground. These, these kind of these critters kind of remind me of Tremors. You know that movie Tremors? I uh, saw so like an action comedy movie. But the, I, I, dig I digress. <laughs> run, 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 run! I'm being impatient. Oh shoot, 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 shoot! Okay, <laughs> kill the critters. It's a little bit safer. There we go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here while that one blows up. Oh, I failed to get on the stairs! 
I touched the wall, I deflected off it. But anyway, there's there should be hearts in these pots, and if you can't run into the hearts to grab them, just swing your sword at them and you should be able to touch them. Uh, so yeah, about these, gotta go blow on them. Yeah, blow on them with their microphone, or in my case, because I have to, use their hotkey set to the shoulder button, I guess. <laughs> and go to another safe spot, go, 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 run, 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 run. There's gonna be a, a door that's gonna open over there on that side, but that's not what I'm interested in first, because those doors are gonna open only once I blow on the sacred windmills of destiny or whatever. <laughs> Go, 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 yo! <laughs> and one more for the road. There we go. This will open up both doors. The one over there that we passed through earlier that uh, took us through there. Remember when we did those jumps to get across there? Yep. That one opens up as well, which is the one that we're going to use to get to the temple. And I'm also going to show you down here, I guess, for kicks. Yeah, see, see here. Oh, wait, oh, wait, that, this wasn't the jumps that we took. The jumps were back over here. Yeah, this was back when I jumped up to the temple via that, but we can take a little shortcut jump down over here, and we have made it to the temple! This door also opens if you end up with this one being your last one on that side, so there's two, way, two ways back down to the temple from there. I just take that side because I find it easier to go around the place like that because there's a sort of unmarked barrier here on the map, so yeah, that's why I go like that. Alright! What? Ah. Pot sound effect <laughs> glitch. So here we are at the Temple of Wind, of which I'm going to start in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then. And I can tell this recording did not fail me this time. <laughs>